Right, hello my friends. <laughs> so, I'm uh, going to give you a quick update in a minute on how I'm feeling. Feeling a lot better, thank you. Spent uh, the last few days with my family uh, and uh, running around after my little boy on his um, on his uh, little bike and I've been <laughs> on the scooter trying to catch up with him and uh, yeah, feeling a lot better. And uh, you asked me to come out for lunch today, I didn't did. you? I did, so, I said let's come and just do something a little bit and light and say yeah, hello to everybody. Just a, just a little bit, say hi and stuff. So I thought, oh, we'll bring you, you guys with us and uh, we've ended up in Newark. We have. And it's a lovely day, it's a fantastic day. It's I've beautiful. not been to Newark for ages. <laughs> when you went, oh, why don't we go to Newark? I went, what for? Well, actually, we were going to go to Nottingham. Uh, however, yes. uh, we, we can't because it's all been closed off, etc. for uh, certain reasons. Can't say the word why, but you can, <laughs> you can have a look at that on the news. So we're going to have a wander around, have a little bite to eat, and uh, I'll give you a little update on uh, how I'm feeling, etc. And um, we'll have a little bit of fun as well, we a little will. bit of wander Just around. Wander it around looks, in the sun. looks quite nice, but everywhere looks nice in the sun, doesn't it? Does, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. I've got to say, though, I've said before, and there's, there's been a few sarcastic replies, but I love England. I actually I think in the sunshine, in the summer, there is no better place. Not just England, hang on, whoa, steady on. <laughs> the United Kingdom, because uh, Scotland obviously, and Wales, and uh, everywhere, lovely beautiful. Lovely places. So, and all the islands as well, we're not missing anybody else. <laughs> Imagine you can go to the Isle of Wight and stuff as well, so yeah. I'm looking forward to that. Um, so there you go. So I'll have a wander around, have a little bit of uh, bite to eat, and we'll mark it out of 10, and uh, just do a little relaxing walk about, really, and a little bit of a chat. So if you're new to the channel, do like and subscribe and click that little bell for us please and uh, without further ado my friends let's go Right, a little break oh, before we carry on. It is, so it is very, very hot. Um, I'll give you a little update uh, of how I'm feeling as well. Uh, as I said, uh, I'm now on the fifth week of no alcohol. Amazing, right? well done. Five weeks clean, five weeks clean. And I'll tell you this, I mean, I wasn't a, an alcoholic, but, I, but I, I did like a drink and it got to the point where every night, I was having a drink, thinking, oh yeah, I'll have a relaxer just before I go to bed because I've been working and I've been I'd been working ridiculous hours for the last two years. Um, and you think you need a drink to to relax, but in actual fact, you don't. It doesn't make you. you I found no, out because no. I hardly ever drink, and like I know a big difference in you. You like you more. I don't know. Just seems I feel a, a lot better. Different. I feel more cheerful. I've had more energy yeah. uh, for for my kids. Um, I've slept better. Which because, is a big thing, isn't it, yeah, with alcohol? You, see, I used to think, oh, it'll relax me and get me to sleep. No. But the reality of it is, it doesn't. No, it works the opposite way. It works think, the opposite it? way. And you think, oh, I'll have a drink because it makes me happier. But I felt happier and less less depressed and low since, since I've drink? not had a drink. I've been, well I mean, Yorkshire tea, I've been having loads <laughs> of Yorkshire tea. So, and to be fair, I haven't really missed it. Although, you know, Sarah's gone, oh, you're not drinking again now then? Oh, you're going to be boring. But I haven't, and I've had, I've been out and I've had a mocktail as well, you know. Uh, I like things like that. I like things like that. Anyway, so I've felt a lot better within myself. Um, still a little bit out of breath and stuff, but I've got to go back and have blood tests again in uh, three weeks now, uh, another two and a half to three weeks. But so I've cut that out. Um, I've been eating healthier. However, as I say, I am still going to eat <laughs> fish and chips, uh, but I don't particularly eat them off camera anyway. No, don't. Um, Sarah uses the air fryer a lot actually. Yep. She's got an air fryer, and we've been having uh, a lot of chicken and stuff and 
and rice dishes and salads and uh, all, all sorts really she's very Good, healthy so all in all um, I've, I've felt a lot better and um, and I'm not missing the alcohol so if you are thinking of uh, giving try it just try it I felt yeah, so much try better and cut it out and do. yeah I felt so much you better. Feel better and my I've been less I've been less tired Every, my head's just thought clearer and, and it's been great and I've cut out Diet Coke as well as uh, um, yeah I think we both used to drink quite a lot of that didn't we and we're trying to sort of yeah. cut it out so I've cut out Diet Coke uh, I drink a lot more water a lot more Yorkshire tea <laughs> um, and, and, and I'll have a, the occasional iron brew Ooh. made in Scotland from Gerda's <laughs> anyway let's have a wander it's a lovely day we'll have a bite to eat as I say I'm not sure what I'll have uh, we'll we'll see. There's a boat in the lock there. I'm just watching it come through. Look. Uh, oh right. Well, I've look. Oh, check it out. Anyway, come on. Onwards. We'll have a look. Right. So you've just been speaking to. Uh, is it the lock keeper? Is, is it the lock keeper or lock, lock master? Keeper. Are you a lock keeper or a lock master? A lock <laughs> keeper. I used to do this all the time when I was a child with my family. So this is like bringing back memories to me. You know, on and off the locks and things like that. I've not done it for quite a few years. And so so I'd a... do another boat. I would. Yeah. Yeah. You should do vlogs on a boat. Yeah, I could do. So there's another boat coming <laughs> and then they're going to let the water down and level. Yeah, the... we're going to yeah. open the gate, so just have a look. Oh, brilliant. I've, I've not seen this before, actually. This is really <laughs> cool. Come on, uh, come and have a look. So what's happening now then? They're closing the gates yeah. outside. Yeah, so they're closing, so closing the gates and what will happen now is they'll open like, a, a, there's a term for them, for the doors, but the doors open and then the water will drop down here now and then it'll be the same level to go into there. So when these gates open, the water will be at the same level and they can go through together. Were you, did you used to I do used this? I used to do this, yeah, when I was a child I used to, but where we used to go, obviously this, this uh, lock is manned by somebody, but you've got a key and you open the gates and you used to open them and push them and close yourselves and go through. But uh, we used to go to Birmingham and Leicester and everything on the canals. It used to be amazing. Blimey. Oh, is yeah. it doing it? Is it doing yeah. it? Yeah, you'll see him going Oh, now. here we go. Have a look. Right, so the barge came through, but the guy in the big boat there, yeah, one of his engines has gone. Engine's gone, so he's lost his steering and one engine, so it looks like they're going to have to moor up somewhere here now. That's a hefty bill for them. It's going to be expensive, and then you've got another one coming through as well. This is exciting, isn't it? It's great. <laughs> I told you I said you'd like it here. Yeah. It's nice that the lock's open today while we've been here, because they don't always open. Relaxing day. Anyway, I'm getting a bit hungry, yeah, getting a bit peckish. On Come on, onwards. Mm -hmm. Are we nearly there yet? I know, I'm exhausted. It is so <laughs> hot, guys, today. It is warm. There's a castle here as well, Newark it's Castle. It's actually it? really nice in yeah. Newark, isn't it? It's quite nice. I mean, look at this. Look at the ruins of a castle here. And guess what? It's my choice. They'll love my choice, Lee. It is, because <laughs> I said, oh, let's go to Southwall. Yeah. And you went, no, let's go to Newark. So, uh, yeah, good choice, Ange. Good, good choice. choice. Here, look, have a look at the castle ruins. It's a doer upper, isn't it? It is. It's a doer upper. Did you not know that was my room right at the top up there? Look. Was it? Yeah. Did you throw out like loads of blankets I and did, stuff, yeah. and then a prince came up to help yeah. you? That's <laughs> what I needed a prince. That's what you need a prince. <laughs> <laughs> you know, nowadays they'd just uh, they'd go, yeah, yeah, we'll turn it into some flats and apartments. Yeah, it's beautiful. And char isn't it? charge them four grand a year for the maintenance <laughs> fees, and put a gym in, in the basement bit down there. But yeah, that's well, quite nice. Anyway, I I'm hungry. Yeah, come on, let's go and find some food. Onwards.
Yeah. Right, well, okay, so I did want to eat healthy, however, mm -hmm. uh, I will say I haven't had chips or fish and chips or anything fried for crikey since Martin made me fish and wow. chips in America because uh, I've had everything in the air fryer <laughs> with, uh, with Sarah. So today I'm actually going for, I was going to go to a place called Clean Cut Kitchen in Nottingham. It was, wasn't they? And eat healthy, but then we couldn't get into Nottingham because <laughs> it's all closed off because of the police. So uh, we've come here. So I've gone for scampi and chips. Do you know what? It won't uh, it as won't a one-off. Really, and one what I've had to drink is a pint of iced water. Yeah. Just tap water, so cheers. cheers. There we go. And what have you had? I've had lasagna that comes with chips, um, but some water as well. Which makes it cheaper because the bill came to, uh, what was it, £22.90 uh, because you've had the lasagna, I've had the scampi and chips, and uh, water's free. free. So usually, because they make a markup on the coke, don't they? they do. now, it's on the about diet three pound fifty, isn't it, for a glass? And it's so expensive. It is. You that... can see why people drink alcohol when they go out, can't you? Because sometimes a pint is cheaper than buying a pint of coke. Yeah, they they make a mar such a massive markup yeah, on the fizzy do. drinks and on your soft drinks. You're better off just having water, nice little ice water, a bit of lemon in it. Yeah. Uh, so that's good. A nice, 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 quiet day. So uh, nice and relaxing. Now, um, I will say, I'm going to do videos, right? But I'm I'm taking my foot off the gas a little bit. Or I can't say gas, can I? Because I, no. I don't have petrol. Taking my foot off the uh, electricity a little bit. Uh, so. I'll put some videos out. We we will put videos out, but it'll be. You're not going to do as much. I'm as not going to do doing, e every day, so uh, I'll do do when I can. Uh, so and this has been nice. It's, it's been nice, nice it's and lovely, relaxing. Isn't it? And, so uh, yeah, if you've never been to Newark, please come and have a look because it's a really nice little town. We've not even been into the shopping area, we've just stayed on this side because Lee's just having a little slow walk around. But what we've shown you and that is there's more a bit more to it on the other side if you want to go and have a look. Yeah, that's it. When I get my because I'm, I'm getting there I can walk a little <laughs> bit further now 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 my uh, my liver's shrunk a little bit so uh, so there we go I'll tell you what this water's really refreshing it's, lovely, isn't it? it's nice brilliant I've put you next to the mm. next to the river though I said I'm not I could dare sit next I'm to just, the river I went and sat down and the table is sloping a little bit this way and I thought I can see why he's put me this side <laughs> anyway looking forward to this we'll mark it out of 10 I mean I'm not sure you can't really mark scampi out of 10 can no, you? you can't because it, it's all the same, isn't it? They all go whip, fresh whippy scampi, but it isn't really. It's just it's it's frozen scampi <laughs> out of a bag, isn't it? You know that's what it is. So, but we'll mark it out of ten. Scampi, Good. scampi, scampi, scampi. I tell Sanya's you what, though, I, be, I, be, I, be, I keep my voice down. I bet I only get about six scampi. Do you think? Yeah. Shall we count them? We'll count them. <laughs> how many? How many? Now, before we go any further, how many scampi do you think? I'm going to get on my plate. Don't cheat, don't fast forward. I say eight. Eight pieces of scampi. All right, there we go. We'll That's have a look. Up. See you in a minute. Do you know what? I'm going to take it back actually. I did say that the scampi uh, might be frozen. frozen. Well, well, will be frozen. <laughs> However, I'm going to say. They're actually catching it off the side yeah, there. They're waiting. They're waiting for it, yeah, because it's taking that long. <laughs> I think they're catching the scampi and off the side. It's sat under the canopy because it's a bit warm on that seat. Warm? It's too hot. It's too, it's too hot. hot. It's too 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 hot. Right, well, okay, so first of all, count how many pieces I've got there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten pieces. Uh, you could probably count the chips as well. Uh, there we go, <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to say I'm not eating healthy, but um, there's not it's that much of it. It's the best that we could do here. It's the best that we could do here, but we will, we will go to the other place. We I want will. to go to Clean Cook Kitchen. Yes, we're going to go. But yours looks uh, like a frozen lasagna, really, doesn't it? Mm. It's basically a frozen lasagna. 
um, with a little bit of salad. I mean, I mean, there's not a lot of salad there. It quite it's hot. Anyway, we'll go in for the scampi. Here's your knife and fork. Thank there you. you go. We're back to the packets of, of tartar sauce. The little packets there. I'll have a little bit of tartar sauce. Pop that on the side there like that. This is a. I can't wait to have my first fish and chips, but I reckon that's got to We're be somewhere. We're not going to for a while, are we? I think we'll do it when we do a coast run. I might do one before you. Ooh. I've got to have a fish and chips at some point. Yeah. I mean, I, I've not had it for it was well since Martin cooked for me. So there we go. I'm air fried up. I am. Yeah. I'm loving the air fryer. I've got to tell you, it's absolutely fantastic. Right, a little bit of salt on there, and we'll just go in for this. Do you want to taste your lasagna? Uh, yeah. Can See I have like? some? Um, you can salad have cream or mayonnaise some salad time. cream, there we go. Thank you. And then we're going to go for an ice cream after as well, a little yes. ice cream, be rude not to. However, quick question for you on the ice creams. Let me ask you this. Oh, losing my fork. Mr Whippy or fresh ice cream, like Lakeland ice cream I, that you get? I prefer a Mr Whippy. I prefer a Mr Whippy. I went out at the weekend with uh, Sarah and the kids and we had a... I can't remember, it was Cornish ice cream or whatever it was. Three ice creams, right? I know. How much? About £15. And the rest, right? 18 quid for three ice creams in, uh, in and that's in Yorkshire. I'm surprised anyone were buying them. <laughs> anyway, we'll eat this, come back to you, and uh, then we'll head off for an ice cream. I mean, I, I don't even think I can. You can't mark scampi and chips out of 10, you can you? Can you? Crispy, chips that are a bit, let's have a look. Frozen chips, aren't they? Everything's frozen. Anyway, there we go. It's nice, nice day. Nice, nice setting, that makes nice it Nice setting. Great. You know, a nice cold glass of water. Yeah. <laughs> well, everybody's drinking beer over there. Anyway, I'm never a fan of beer anyway, that doesn't bother me. I'll see you guys in a minute. Right, okay, so, like I said, been a nice day out. I am tired now, I am tired, so, on, yeah. yeah. We was gonna have an ice cream, but the ice cream place is closed, and the nearest one's in the uh, town centre, I said, <laughs> <laughs> you'll, you'll, you'll be getting a wheelchair to push yeah, me back. It's a bit far so back uh, anyway. we're gonna miss out on the ice cream, unless we find one on the way back. Um, anyway, marks out of 10. Well, it didn't float my boat. <laughs> It didn't float your boat. It's a good one, though, isn't did, it? Did you mean to do that? No, I didn't actually. It's just really? come to my head. That's <laughs> really? quite good. Oh, there you go. No pun intended. There it didn't float your boat. There you go. So you're not marking it. No. But it was a nice, nice, really nice place. It's okay. It is what it is. Frozen. Yeah. You know, you can't say it's bad. Bad. We've had a lot worse than that. Um, but it is very know. difficult, though, isn't it, to find healthier yeah. stuff? I wanted to eat a salad today, but. Because uh, I do like a chicken salad. Uh, but it's really difficult to find places that do healthy food. But I have just said to Lee, you know why they do do it? Because they can have it all frozen and each customer that comes, it just comes out of the freezer so there's no food waste. Whereas if it was all fresh and it wasn't busy, they'd be throwing food away. It is what it is anyway. I mean, I, I didn't finish all my chips because some of them were a bit... Yeah, same. It was a bit not great, was it? Not great, but I ate my 10 scampi <laughs> uh, and then that's it. So uh, there we go. I'm, I'm not going to mark it out of 10 either. No. It's, it's, it wasn't what today was about, really. It was just a bit of an update. Get out, uh, get out and about, say hi to Ange and then uh, there we go. So as I say, I'm not going to be posting every single day like I did for the time being. Uh, so, but I'm not going to give a... Because a lot of people say, oh, post on a Monday and a Wednesday and a Friday, but then that it depends. It's demanding, I, isn't it? Yeah. You've got to do it on those days. Yeah. So I think we'll just post. you just do it as and when do you it, feel like when, it, when, when I feel like it and do some nice videos. And I've, I've enjoyed today and I've enjoyed bringing you guys with us. I've enjoyed filming it. I've it's enjoyed nice. saying... You know, hi to Ange and you know, having a bit of a bite to eat with Ange. And uh, just remember, if you're thinking of uh, packing the alcohol in, though, uh, I'm now, like I say, what was it? Five weeks, aren't five, you? Five weeks clean. So, yeah, there we go. And I'm, well done. And I'm yeah. feeling uh, a lot better. But there we go. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the little update. 
thank yeah. you for coming to see me. You're welcome. And um, I'll drop you back off now, see if there's anywhere for an ice cream. I wanted a Mr. Whippy. <laughs> I wanted to make we'll there's got to be one. an ice cream van somewhere. And if well, go let's go. If any of you know of any nice places that sort of maybe healthy, yeah, healthy that's not too far away from obviously where we come from and this, yeah. uh, a nice ice cream parlour as well and whatever else, please let us know because we do struggle sometimes. So nice ideas. Yeah, and we'll go and find them out. I will be eating fish and chips. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm just I'm just cutting back a on it, having having a bit of a break. So uh, but. Fish and chips will uh, make a return, maybe once a week or something. <laughs> Fish and chip Friday or something like that, I don't know. But there we go. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Click the little bell for notifications when I upload new videos. Give this lady a thumbs up. <laughs> it's down there. It's free. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye. Right, bit of an outro. We ended up at McDonald's <laughs> for a McFlurry, as yes. you do. Um, now then, a quick question for you, right? Because <laughs> <is it, laughs> I don't know how to put this. I'm going to let you explain. So your <laughs> your family, I've never heard of this before, and I thought you might be intrigued this is quite funny. in this one. Right, my family have bought a, a van at a motor home, so we're going to eventually start going out and about, and I thought I might start doing a little bit of vlogging myself. So I was just telling Lee that I've been following van life on you know social media and things like that, the other day I was absolutely shocked, bearing in mind pineapple is one of my favourite fruits. Now please tell me if I'm wrong, it said on one of the comments, don't always believe social media, that if you put your pineapple upside down it means you are swingers. Put your pineapple <laughs> upside down like, where? On your dashboard. But surely if you put a pineapple upside wow. down it's going to fall over. <laughs> I was eating my, I was eating my lunch, and I was like, I was at work while I was looking at things, and I thought, no, I've never heard anything. So please let us know so in the comments got, down below. So if you've got an upside down pineapple on your dashboard yeah. in a van, yes, it says you're a swing. Would it not fall over though? Because it's like, well, how are you going to balance perhaps that? That's, perhaps that's why they cut the bottom off so it sits on the top. An upside down pineapple. Yeah. So if you see an upside down pineapple, <laughs> stay away. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe not. <laughs> so yeah, we thought we'd tell you, we thought we'd tell you that. So let us know if it is true. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, on that bombshell, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.